affected by the provision made for creation of capital assets through grants and aids to state. The effective capital expenditure of the center is budgeted at 13.7 lakh crore rupees, which will be 4.5% 4, 4 of GDP. Support to state governments for capital investment. I have decided to continue the 50-year interest-free loan to state governments for one more year to spur investment in infrastructure and to incentivize them for complementary policies actions with a significantly enhanced outlay of 1.3 lakh crores. The newly established Infrastructure Finance Secretariat will assist all stakeholders for more private investment in infrastructure, including railways, roads, urban infrastructure and power, which are predominantly depend on public resources. The harmonized master list of infrastructure will be reviewed by an expert committee for recommending the classification and financing firm framework suitable for Amarth Kal. A capital outlay, I'm talking about railways now, sir, Honorable Speaker, railways, a capital outlay of 2.40 lakh crores has been provided for the railways. This is the highest ever outlay uh, about, and this, sorry, this highest ever outlay is about nine times the outlay made in 2013-14. 100 critical transport infrastructure projects for last and first mile connectivity for pro ports, coal, steel, fertilizer and food grain sectors have been identified. They will be taken up on priority with investment of 75,000 crores including 15,000 crore from private sources. 50 additional airports, heliports, water aerodromes and advanced landing grounds will be revived for improving regional air connectivity. Sustainable cities for tomorrow. States and cities will be encouraged to undertake urban planning, urban planning reforms and actions to transform our cities into sustainable cities of tomorrow. This means efficient use of land resources, adequate resources for urban infrastructure, trans transit-oriented development, enhanced availability and affordability of urban land and opportunities for all. Through property tax governance reforms and ring fencing user charges on urban infrastructure, cities will be incentivized to improve their credit worthiness for municipal bonds. Like the RIDF, an urban infrastructure development fund will be established through use of priority sector lending shortfall. This will be managed by the National Housing Bank and will be used by public agencies to create urban infrastructure in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. States will be encouraged to leverage resources from the grants of the 15th Finance Commission as well as existing schemes to adopt appropriate use of charges while accessing the UIDF. We expect to make an available, to make available 10,000 crore rupees per annum for this purpose. All cities and towns will be enabled for 100% mechanical desludging of septic tanks and sewers to transition from manhole to machine hole mode. Enhanced focus will be provided for scientific management of dry and wet waste. Honorable Speaker, sir, our Prime Minister had said 
Good governance is the key to a nation's progress. Our government is committed to providing a 